Alright, welcome to Stay Tuned's Garage. My name is Alex. And today we're going to be installing a short steering wheel hub adapter um, from NRG, a 3.0 quick release from NRG, and an aftermarket eBay steering wheel for my 1996 Honda Accord. Alright, so the first thing I want to mention before I even start um, working on my car is I actually have already done this and I went ahead and used an eBay um, hub adapter and quick release and technically they worked um, they were alright but you could definitely feel that there was shortcuts taken in this and I, I, I did this to save money I bought these to save money but at the end of the day I ended up getting some of the better stuff the energy stuff have the quick release over here and um, so if anything I kind of lost money by trying to save money so uh, I would recommend that you actually just go ahead if you want to do this go ahead just save up the extra couple uh, couple paychecks and um, buy the NRG stuff at least um, technically some people would say the NRG stuff is a little on the cheaper side but um, it it'll do for me um, I'm not trying to go Sparco or any of that more uh, intense stuff with my my little Honda that's just my daily driver so yeah so like I said just stray away from the eBay stuff it does work but there was a lot of things I had to do to make it work and it it didn't I don't know it, it was it's hard to explain I just wasn't too comfortable um, using it anymore so I actually went back to my OG steering wheel which works out because I can show you guys the full process of removing the steering wheel and putting the aftermarket one on so yeah do away with that better stuff all right so today in order to um, install the new steering wheel we need to remove this uh, stock steering wheel or the new one and the one of the reasons I'm getting rid of this steering wheel is um, as you can see it has all this cracking I can't really focus on that but it has all this cracking going around and I know that as the um, how do I say it as time goes on this is only gonna get worse every day I drive it I end up having little like flakes in my hand from it so I'm just gonna do without it plus um, the airbag doesn't even work in it so I'm not losing any safety or anything like that and everything you're gonna need to replace that or to remove this I have right over here I have a Phillips head screwdriver I have a Torx T30 um, that is to remove the airbag you have just a normal ratchet and a 14 millimeter and with all of those things you should be able to remove that steering wheel and another thing before you even touch it before you even start working on it unplug your battery because unplug your battery and keep it unplugged for a good amount of time I'd say at least like five to ten minutes the reason for that you're gonna be working with the airbag if for whatever reason you're touching things and the airbag is I don't know if for whatever reason you don't want this airbag to go off so easiest way to prevent that no power to the airbag <laughs> so yeah um, turn off battery get your tools and get ready All right, so the first thing we have to do to get the steering wheel off is remove the cruise control uh, controls. Um, if you have them, if you don't have them, then you obviously don't have to worry about that. But um, so there's this whole little plastic little box here, um, and there's usually a cover that goes over it. Um, so what you do is you remove that cover, and then you have access to all the bolts to remove it. Uh, so there's two. Phillips head bolts you have to get to first um, those are gonna be right in this hole right here I don't know if you can see it that well and one in the hole down there so I'm gonna go ahead and remove those and then we'll go from there 
All right, and once you remove those two bolts, you will find that this whole uh, little box assembly or cruise control assembly will come right off. Then all you have to do is just remove this little connector. And now, there you go. That's the cruise control controls. So just go ahead and toss that. You won't need it anymore unless you are trying to um, keep cruise control with your aftermarket steering wheel in which you will have to custom make a custom bracket and stuff and that's that's a discussion for another day so I'm not gonna be doing that so I'm not gonna teach you how to do that because I don't know how to do that but yeah um, so now what we're gonna do is sorry uh, we're gonna remove the airbag so this is actually pretty simple um, you just need to have that T30 Torx a bit that I showed you earlier and you're gonna go over on this side of the steering wheel and you're gonna there's gonna be a little plastic cover here all you do is just come back here and pop it off it comes right off and then you have access to the t30 right there and then you will find over here where you just remove the cruise control controls that you will have another t30 screw uh, you're gonna go ahead and remove those two and the steering, the steering, the airbag will come right off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then we'll be right back. Stay tuned. All right, I went ahead and removed the two torque screws. So you can see, this is how they look. One's off. Focus. Um, so now this airbag will just pop right off, and your airbag is going to be connected. You see, like I said earlier. My airbag doesn't work, or I think it does work, but I just didn't want to reconnect it when I went ahead and re-put um, the steering wheel on just to make this easier for me. But you have this connector here that would connect to the harness right here. And um, the way you take this off, it might look a little complicated at first. Let me get that to focus. Come on. I believe in you. There we go. So this is gonna be connected to that. And all you do to get it off is you pull back on this little hinge like that and it'll just pop it right off and you're good to go. So then you get the airbag and don't toss it, put it down gently. There's C4 in there. You don't want that shit to go off. <laughs> all right, so now you are left with this mess. Um, this was your cruise control, this was your airbag so these two are gonna have to come out. And this right here is your horn. Sorry, this is your horn. So in order to remove this, you just push down on the little tab it has in the middle. And let me see if I can get it. And you pull. So now, those are all the wires that connect to your steering wheel for all the buttons and controls it has. And now, once you remove it, you will be able to just feed this through and you'll be good to go. So now, we remove this. And this guy is, if this is your first time removing your steering wheel, this is gonna be a little bit of a pain, but um, you have to loosen this. So what I like to do is I will, without the key in the car, I will turn it, turn my wheel, <laughs> until it locks. So now, it doesn't go anywhere. And then you get your 14 mil, and you undo it, and it's gonna be hard, but just keep keep going till you get it. Um, if you bust the knuckle, you bust the knuckle, it's all worth it at the end of the day. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Mine should be pretty easy, since I didn't Loctite it or do anything when I put it back in, since it was temporary. But I'm gonna go ahead and take that out, and then I'll show you guys what to do from there. All right, so I went ahead and cracked this and got it loose. So now I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo it a little bit. I am going to get my key and turn it so that the steering wheel unlocks. That's gonna be hard to do this with one hand. Let me put this down. All right. So we went ahead and uh, got the steering wheel unlocked. And what I do is I unscrew it just a little bit, but keep it where it's still threaded on. And then what you're gonna do, my, mine's already loose, cause I cracked, cause like I said, I installed it temporarily. But you're gonna want to get the steering wheel to come off of the spline for the steering rack, or the steering shaft, I guess. So you're gonna 
hit this, pull back on it as hard as you can until you feel it get loose, like, um, like loose on the shaft. So this will feel stiff on, on the little shaft that's in here. So you're just gonna pull on it and get it to come loose. And once it wiggles around and stuff, like back and forth, um, then you should be good. And then you can go ahead and just and take this screw all the way out. Eh. And then your steering wheel should come right off. And now this thing, you can do whatever you want with it. You can sell it on eBay, you can sell it on Craigslist, you can throw it away, um, or just keep it for later, just in case. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. And make sure you don't lose this. This is really important. You gotta keep that. All right. And so now you are left with, come on, focus. And so now you are left with this. This is the cable reel, um, which has all your functions in it. So it has this, this is for the airbag, this for your cruise control, and this is for your horn. So if you're going to wire up your horn, this is what you need to wire that up. My hub adapter comes with an SRS uh, delete type of thing. Uh, it has little resistors uh, so that the SRS light doesn't come on when I'm driving. So those are gonna go into this. Um, I'm gonna go into this so that uh, the SRS system basically thinks there's, a, there's an airbag, but there isn't. It just fools it um, so you don't have that light up. And um, NRG does have the SRS version of this hub adapter and the non-SRS. So if you want your SRS light to come off, make sure to buy the one that has the SRS. Um, it is a little bit more, it's like $20 more, but uh, in my eyes it's worth it. I don't want a light on my dash. I already have a check engine light because of some stupid stuff I did, but that's one less light that I'll have, so that works. Um, so yeah, so this you're gonna keep. You don't have to remove this. The first time I did this, I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to take this off, but you actually don't, especially if you buy the, the SRS version. So just keep this. Don't break it. It's an expensive part. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead, and now we can start installing stuff. So that's, that's the cool part. Stay tuned. All right, so, this is what I did. So this is the little resistor that the SRS package comes with. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this is necessarily worth twenty dollars, but in their eyes it is. Whatever. I still recommend it. <laughs> um, this is the the horn. This is for the horn. Um, so this actually can. I, I just cut off the cruise control ones, and the cruise controls are embedded with the horn one. So what I did is I just the red part it has like a little um little crimp connector that connected it to the horn one i just went ahead and cut that one off so you can see it was down here it has a little red wire for the horn uh switch or for the cruise control sorry and so i just went ahead and undid that and i didn't want to have this exposed um stuff so i just went ahead and uh taped that through and this is what I am left with. And also one little tip I wanted to give you guys or show you guys. Um, let's have that focus. Do you see that little mark that is straight up? That points to the top dead center of the steering wheel. So as long as you align everything with that mark, you should be good. So. Yeah, that's just one little tip I want to show you. That will be true unless you've had multiple alignments that mess up how everything... No, that, that should still hold true. Yeah, that should hold true. So, um, now it is actually time to go ahead and install our um, hub. So, this goes in just like... Well, first you got to... Let me see, let me try and get it on and then I'll show you guys how I did it. All right, so I went ahead and got the hub just uh, loosely on there. Um, and what you do is you just kind of feed everything through this and it has two little, let me see, let me pull it out. It has 
these two little alignment spikes and it had the hub has the holes so you just align those together and feed it through and it should work eh. should work just fine so um another thing is you should you this little hole right here that's top dead center on the hub so you want to align that with the little line that I showed you in the previous clip um and as far as the these wires go this you can just kind of tuck it in here you will not be needing it anymore um, this you will connect to your horn button and all that good stuff so yeah so now you just get your little thingy back on and you're gonna go ahead and put it on there and torque that thing down um, what the torque is I'm not sure I think it's somewhere around a hundred a hundred some pounds um, but another really important thing that I would recommend you do is get some get some Loctite or some uh, thread sealer or whatever people call it um, put it on here when you tighten it down so that it doesn't come apart when you're driving and you know kill you so yeah that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now and then I'm gonna put that on there and just get it I don't know the the torque specification I do have a torque wrench but I don't think it, it'll really matter if I don't know the torque specs so I'm just gonna get it as tight as I possibly can with with a 3 8 so it shouldn't go it shouldn't over torque it by any means so yeah just get it tight enough and lock tight or thread lock whatever this is called yeah stay tuned all right so we got that quote unquote torque down <laughs> um, uh, again I would recommend um, doing the whole locking thing so that you can get it really tight on there um, just how you had to to take it off uh, but as you can see my top dead center is over here now so I just have to keep that in mind um, and now it is time to get this guy going so yeah this is our uh, quick release um, I would like to demonstrate how to do this but it is really hard with one hand so I'll just demonstrate it once the wheels on there and everything um, so let me see this side yeah sorry this side goes up this side goes down so this is going to connect to that like that and then the steering wheel will connect to this so let's go ahead and do that uh, so you are actually going to have to remove the steering wheel part from the part that connects to the hub in order to screw that in so i'm gonna go ahead and do that with my two free hands once i put the camera down and then um, we will go from there stay tuned all right so the quick release um part is connected to the hub now so it is all one piece and now um, all we pretty much have to do is connect the steering wheel to the quick release and that'll be that and I just kind of wanted to show you guys how how this works exactly so um let me undo it oh I don't think you can undo it unless you have it on there let me see let me put it on there so the way you undo this is you pull back on these levers eh, let me see let me see if I can do it with my right hand. Yeah, so you pull back. As you can see, I'm pulling back on these. And you press this button at the same time. And you pull back. And then it just comes right off. So just imagine I had two hands. And I was pulling back on each lever. And then pressing this button. And then it would all come off together. So, yeah. So now we're just going to go ahead. Like I said, I'm skipping the horn wiring. Um, for now, let's... We're just going to go ahead and install the steering wheel and we should be good to go. All right, so I went ahead and connected the um, the steering wheel to the quick release and we got it all in place. So let me see if I can. What if I tried something like. I'm trying to see if I can show you guys how, how this stuff works because it's pretty simple but I'd like to show you guys. So you pull back on these paddles on both of them at the same time to get the leverage or I think you can do it with one hand. And then you press down on this button while pulling back and it comes right off. Let me see. So 
as you can see I got it off and then you just put it back on there you just push in on it and it locks itself in place oh my god so this this Honda button is a little um messed up it doesn't really work that well so I think I'm gonna get an I'm actually I was planning to get a whole new steering wheel because I don't like this one too much it's a little too small so when I'm driving I can't see that stuff because right now I'm really far back in my seat but when I'm actually driving I'm closer up and I'm a tall dude so this bar gets in the way of the top numbers kind of like that and that's all I can see so I'm thinking of getting a new steering wheel a really nice steering wheel to go with the nicer um nicer equipment um, eBay it's pretty decent it was only 40 bucks compared to the new steering wheel that's gonna cost like five times as much I think more than like six times as much so I'm gonna save up for that in the meanwhile eBay will do um, this thing's really sturdy and stuff and the only complaint I have so far of this hub and quick release or it's just the hub actually is it actually um back here it rubs with this plastic so if you can hear that that's the plastic rubbing with the hub so I mean it's not that big of a deal eventually it'll just cut a hole in it and it'll fix itself but um for now I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased with this I like this a lot so that is all um, the horn wiring it's pretty self-explanatory but at the same time not self-explanatory in a way so Honda horns like that specific horn that I have it only has one wire um, usually horns have two wires that when you touch them together that's what you know makes the horn go off well no in the Honda you have one wire and once you ground that wire out the horn goes off so I'm not sure if I were to wire that up and have it connected to this horn if that would work if I ground it out on this horn but um I don't know I'm gonna have to look around to see how to do that look up some uh, look it up on some forums and stuff like that and when I do that I might make a video out of it I might not we'll see all right but for now thank you guys for watching I really hope you enjoyed I really hope you learned something um, I'm really stoked to have this on my car now I have a lot of really cool stuff planned in the really near future and I'm really close to the camera even though I'm not and I'm really sweaty right now because it's hot in California and I'm inside of a car the windows are open but it's still hot in here and I have to go to work so I'll catch you guys nice I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching and stay tuned. All right, I just drove to, let me turn this off. I just drove to work with this on there. I actually fixed the plastic trim uh, thing. I just kind of pushed it back and I heard like a click and it like it's for, far enough where it doesn't rub anymore. Well, it does a tiny bit, but it's not as much as it was before. I just drove to work and I just got to say, this is way, it feels way better than the eBay one so I definitely suggest that you save your money with the eBay stuff just go for this um, I have an eBay steering wheel but I mean you know that's going away um, but yeah this is way better than the eBay hub that I bought um, and it's I mean where is like compare this to that like you you know what I mean um I don't think this ever actually like flexed or anything like that but I feel way more comfortable with that and I can feel it in the steering like it feels solid the, that did that I think this was fine I think it was the quick release but that didn't feel solid and I am so much happier now that I was back then and I know this little Honda button is off just a tiny bit um i put it on perfectly and with the heat the 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 fucking uh adhesive um melted a little bit and it like distorted so i can't really do much about it like i said this whole steering wheel is gonna be gone eventually i'm getting a really nice one to replace it but we gotta save up for that because we we don't have all that much money um but yeah 
thank you for watching once again. Stay tuned for next time.